Hello, bright sparks. Welcome back to science class. Today is a very special day. We will explore amazing chemicals. I'm your host, and today we're diving even deeper into chapter two, exploring substances, acidic, basic, and neutral. This is part two, where we'll unlock some cool secrets about these substances and the special liquids that help us identify them. Get ready for some mind-blowing experiments and even secret messages. You already know a little. About acids and bases, remember? Now we will learn even more. Get ready for some cool experiments. So what are acids again? Acids are substances, they often taste sour. Think about a juicy lemon or the tangy taste of curd. Vinegar is also an acid. These are everyday examples. Acids are important in science. Now let's remember bases. Bases usually taste bitter and they feel soapy, like the soap you use. Baking soda is a base. It is used in cakes. Window cleaner is a base too. Bases have many uses. How can we tell them apart? Acids and bases can look same. We need special chemical helpers. These helpers are called indicators. Indicators are like magic wands. They change their color. They show if it is acid or base. Isn't that very interesting? One famous indicator is litmus. Litmus usually comes as paper. There are two types of it. Red litmus paper is one. Blue litmus paper is the other. They help us test liquids. Litmus is made from lichens. Lichens are tiny living things. Let's see litmus in action. Take blue litmus paper first. Dip it in some lemon juice. Lemon juice is an acid. Wow, the blue paper turns red. Now take this red paper, dip it in soap solution. Soap solution is a base. See, it turns blue again. The color change is reversed. Litmus is not the only one. Nature gives us many indicators. These are natural indicators. Turmeric, or haldi, is one. You see it in your kitchen. It is a yellow powder. Red rose petals also work. Even red cabbage juice can help. Nature is full of science wonders. Let's make turmeric indicator. It is very easy to do. You can try this at home. Take some turmeric powder. Add a little water to it. Make a smooth yellow paste. Take a plain white paper sheet. Spread the paste on it. Let it dry to make turmeric paper. Your indicator is now ready. We can also make red rose indicator. This is another fun activity. Collect some fresh red rose petals. Put them into a small bowl. Add some warm water carefully. Keep the petals soaked in water. Wait for some time. The water will become colored. This colored water is your indicator. Filter it and it's ready to use. Red rose indicator is amazing. It shows different lovely colors with acidic things like lemon juice. It turns a bright pink or sometimes a magenta color. With basic things like soap water, it turns a cool green color. What about neutral things? With neutral solutions like pure water, it does not change color much. Our turmeric indicator is special. It has one small limitation. Turmeric paper is yellow, right? If you put a base on it, like a drop of soap solution, the yellow paper turns red. But with acids, it stays yellow. With neutral things, also yellow. So it mainly tells us about bases. It cannot identify acids clearly. Imagine we have liquid X. We do not know what it is. We add red rose indicator. The liquid turns a green color. What does this change tell us? Yes, you guessed it right. Liquid X is surely a base. Now add some lemon juice, which is an acid. Slowly add it drop by drop. The green color will change back to red. Let's play a guessing game now. Imagine you are a science detective. You have three mystery liquids. Let's call them liquid A, B and C. They all look clear like water. How can we find their nature? Are they acids? bases or neutral. Our indicators will help us solve. First, we use red litmus paper. We dip it into mystery liquid A. Oh, the red litmus turns blue. What does that mean, detectives? 
It means liquid A is a base. Now test liquid B with red litmus. It also turns blue. Interesting. Liquid C does the same thing too. So A, B, and C are all bases. Let's double check our findings. Detectives always verify their clues. We will use our red rose indicator. Add a few drops to liquid A. It turns a lovely green color. This confirms it is a base. Liquid B also turns green, and liquid C turns green too. All three mystery liquids are bases. Our detective work is successful. Once a famous science detective found a bottle. It contained a clear, unknown liquid. Was it just plain water, or was it something like an acid? The detective was very smart. She remembered her science lessons. She carefully took out blue litmus paper. She dipped it into the liquid. The paper turned red instantly. Aha! The mystery liquid was an acid. What if you are blindfold, or if the room is too dark? Sometimes your nose can help. You would use a special kind of indicator called an olfactory indicator. These indicators change their smell in acidic or basic solutions. Always be very careful with smelling chemicals. Ask your teacher before smelling anything. Let's write some secret messages. This is a super fun activity. First, make some soap solution. Soap solution is a base. Use a clean cotton bud to write. Write your message on plain white paper. Let your secret message dry completely. It will become nearly invisible. Then gently apply turmeric paste over it. Your hidden message will appear in red. We can write with acid too. Use some lemon juice as invisible ink. Lemon juice is a mild acid. Write your secret on plain paper. Let it dry and it disappears. How can we reveal this message? You can use your red rose extract. Spray it. The message turns pink. Or you can gently press blue litmus paper. The message written in acid will turn it red. Let's see neutralization magic now. Acids and bases can cancel out. They can neutralize each other's effect. This is called a neutralization reaction. Take some dark-colored grape juice. Grape juice is usually acidic. Its color acts as an indicator too. Now add a tiny pinch of baking soda. Baking soda is a common base. Stir it and watch the color change. The base neutralizes the acid in juice. Did you know indicators help farmers? Yes, they are very important for soil. Soil can be acidic or basic, or it can be perfectly neutral. Different plants like different types of soils. If soil is too acidic, plants may not grow well. If soil is too basic, plants can also suffer. So farmers need to check their soil. They want their crops to be healthy. Farmers test their soil regularly. They can use special soil testing kits. These kits often contain indicators. The indicators show the soil's pH value. pH tells if soil is acidic or basic. If soil is too acidic for their crops, farmers add substances like lime. Lime is basic, so it neutralizes the acid. If soil is too basic, they can add compost. Compost helps to make the soil better. We have learned so much today, from reversing colors to secret messages and even healthy soil. Acids, bases, and indicators are everywhere. Keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep being curious. This video is just one part of our fantastic Class Seven Science Curiosity playlist. So make sure to check out the full series for more exciting lessons. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe for more science fun, and hit that notification bell. See you next time, young scientists.